of this video is to show some examples of trig functions um, composed with their inverses um, and it's not necessarily the same like the first one is sine of arc sine but the next one is arc sine of cosine or down here is sine of arctan so that it's switching it up so it's not just the same function with its particular inverse so the first one um, can go pretty quickly when you start to look at it because you're saying all right sine of arc sine of 2 and I'll start with that inside arc sine of 2 and theta two things it's the angle whose sine comes out to 2 and the angle is between negative pi halves and pi halves and I purposely put the lilt of my voice kind of da 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 da, da this is how it always goes, da da da, no th not thinking about it. Because as soon as I do start thinking about it, I see, wait a minute, an angle whose sine is 2? Sine is at most 1. If I don't have some sort of an amplitude stretch factor on this, there's the graph of one period of sine. And if I'm thinking about it on the unit circle, it's a unit circle. There's no way that the value of this, the y coordinate on a unit circle is going to get any bigger than 1. So this is actually undefined. Um, 2 isn't part of the domain of the arc sine function. So let's, let's look at the next one. The next one says arc sine, arc sine of cosine of 3 pi fourths. So this one's nice because 3 pi fourths is a special angle. I should be able to do this little by little. So I got my unit circle, 3 pi fourths. Um, think of a cosine. And so it's negative, negative root 2 over 2. It's one of these middle, middle points, and it's you know, negative. So I go, OK, great, arc sine of negative root 2 over 2. So now I'm thinking, okay, this is an angle. And two things about it. First thing is that sine of that angle is negative root 2 over 2. So the y coordinate is negative root 2 over 2. And it's the one between negative pi halves and pi halves. So let's see, the y coordinate negative root 2 over 2, y coordinate, negative root 2 over 2, it's got to be this one. It's got to be this one because I'm between negative pi halves and pi halves. And so what angle is that? Negative pi fourths. So the next one is cosine of arc sine of negative square root of 3 over 2. So I start with the middle one, and I go, okay, great. So that's some angle, and that angle is the angle whose sine is negative square root of 3 over 2, and it's between negative pi halves and pi halves. So let's look at that. So it's negative value of sine. It's the big one, so I'm here or here but I know I've got to be there because it's between negative pi halves and pi halves. So what is that? Negative pi thirds. So that's what theta is, negative pi thirds. So I'm trying to look at the cosine of negative pi thirds. And that's kind of cool because I'm sitting here anyway where I had the y coordinate negative square root of 3 over 2 and x coordinate looks like is one half. All right, so the next one is interesting because when I look at the sine of the arctan of three, I might get excited at first seeing that three is maybe a special value for tangent, but no, 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 it's square root of three that, that comes out um, of tangent with, with the special angle. So, so this isn't special. So I still have to approach it the same way I go, okay, that's some angle. Tangent of the angle is 3. 
and that angle is between pi half, negative pi halves and pi halves. Still take out my unit circle and start thinking about it. But now I'm going, okay, so slope is 3, positive 3. So I've got to be up here someplace. But it's not special. So I really have to take some time to get out a right triangle and think about, and I'll probably use Sokotoa here, I'll think about, um, let me get a little bit more space, let me erase some of this down here. I'll think about in a right triangle if the opposite over the adjacent is 3, then the hypotenuse has got to be, let's see, 3 squared plus 1 squared. 3 squared is 9, so I'm doing an a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and I've got 3 squared plus 1 squared. 9 plus 1 is 10, so this has got to be the square root of 10. Okay, so I'm looking for the sine of this angle over here, who's got a, a reference right triangle that's 1, 3, and, and root 10. And the opposite over the hypotenuse is 3 over root 10. And now all I have to do is make sure I've got the sine right, and maybe rationalize if I'm supposed to. But the sine's right, yeah, because, because I'm in the first quadrant here. We already figured out, because the tangent is positive, and I'm in the fourth of the first quadrant, for the tangent to be positive, I'm in the first quadrant. So sine is also positive. So why don't I just finish this off with a quick rationalization. And we'll go on to the next one. So the next one is cotangent of arc sine, negative 5 thirteenths. And so let's see, we've got an angle here. Sine of that angle is negative 5 thirteenths, and I'm somewhere in the fourth quadrant or the first quadrant, and actually because this is negative, I realize I'm, I'm in the fourth quadrant here. Okay, great, so the cotangent in the fourth quadrant, a quick little unit circle, the cotangent in the fourth quadrant is going to be negative because the tangent's negative. Slopes are negative, so 1 over slopes are negative. So okay, I've got, I've got the sign of my answer. This is negative something. So let's go on and, and figure out the value. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Sokotoa again with the reference right triangle where this is my opposite over my hypotenuse. So there's my reference angle. And so let's see, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. This time this is the c. So 5 squared plus something squared equals 13 squared. Let's see, 13 squared, 169. 5 squared is 25, and how convenient is that? 169 minus 25 is 144, so this guy's got to be 12. Um, it's a nice Pythagorean triple in this problem. So, okay, cool, I've got my the sine of my answer, it's negative. I've got the size of my answer because now I've got, here's my angle, so the tangent is the opposite, the opposite over the adjacent cotangent is just the flip of that, the reciprocal of that. So 12 over 5, and I'm done. All right, last one, last one, and this one's um, Got, got a lot going on, so I'm at nine and a half minutes here, and I apologize for the length of this video. Please feel free to watch it in several chunks. Don't try to do it all at once. But what's interesting about this one is the two. It's like, oh my god, what the heck? All I know is what arc sine of three-fifths is supposed to be. That's some angle where where the sine of that angle 
is 3 fifths and my angle is between negative pi halves and pi halves and actually because of the the positiveness of the 3 fifths I realize I'm in the first quadrant not the fourth but it's twice this and I go wait a minute cosine of 2 theta that's that's a double angle formula and and I'm gonna go ahead and um, use whatever version I want of the double angle formula and and because I've got it doesn't even matter I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and, and say the cosine of 2 theta is 1 oops wrong color 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta and I'm gonna go ahead and call it theta so here's cosine of 2 theta I know what theta is all about and now I'm talking about transforming it with the double angle formula into 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta so I really gotta figure out what the heck is sine theta wait a minute <laughs> what is sine theta sine theta is 3 fifths so sine squared theta is 3 fifths squared so finish this off 3 fifths squared times 2 and so what is that 25 20 fifths minus 18 20 fifths looks like 7 20 fifths and there we go there's the cosine of twice this angle and I feel free to stop we're at 12 minutes but I'm gonna do a quick unit circle kind of analysis of, of whether this all makes sense so here's sine being 3 fifths which is about there and I'm in the first quadrant I double that angle so here we are double it I'm in the second quadrant and so my cosine of that angle we're saying is about 7 25ths okay yeah that's that's conceivable um, except that I'm thinking the cosine would be negative okay so instead of redoing this whole video I paused it and, and went to some scratch paper and, and looked at this unit circle again and I drew this angle too big so so three-fifths of the way up and you can almost see it right here three-fifths of the way up and that's a pretty rough sketch only gets you to about there so whatever angle that is double it and you're still in the first quadrant our answer actually is positive so I apologize for the the rough edges um, of that final final minute but um, instead of redoing this the whole video again I'm gonna leave it alright take care